guys, so today I'm filming a tutorial on this look. I did feature this in my March favorites because I enjoy the color combination so much. So this look is created using the balm in the balm of your hand palette. I have recently posted my palette of the month video where I will show you swatches, show you the details of all the looks I created with the palette, and I will give you my overall thoughts on it. I'll have that video linked up here in case you want to check it out. So if you guys want to see how to get this coppery rose gold olive look using the balm in the balm of your hand palette then just keep watching. So first we're going to apply a primer from Lash Line to Brow Bone. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Next I'm going to take MAC Soft Brown with my Sigma E40 Blending Brush and apply this in my transition area and with windshield wiper motions back and forth blending this right above the crease. Next is the base of my lid. I'm going to take the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Caramel Cool and I'm going to apply it with my Mary Kay Cream Eye Color Brush. And I'm going to paint this right on to the lid up to the crease but not going into the crease. Next from the balm in the balm of your hand palette I'm going to take Mischievous Marissa also in the Shady Lady Special Edition palette and apply it on my lid with my MAC 242 Shader Brush. And I am going to pack this on my lid right over top of that cream base. Next I'm going into my crease with MAC Eyeshadow in Brown Script and my Sigma E25 Blending Brush. And I am just going to apply this into my crease and my outer V. Taking it about three quarters of the way in. To blend up the edges, I'm going to go back with MAC Soft Brown and my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just going to use this to buff around the edges to help make this look a little more seamless. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the Wet n Wild Single and Brulee and my Sigma E45 Small Taper Blending Brush. And like I said, I will be applying this right under the brow to highlight. Next for my lower lash line, I'm going to go about halfway in using my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Stash. And I'm applying this on the lower lash line, making sure to get it as close to the lashes as possible. Next I'm going to set that with Lead Zeppelin from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette. This is also in the Balm Jovi palette with the smudger side of the Revlon Dual Ended Smoky Eye Brush. And I'm going to put this right on top of that liner to help set it in place. So that is all for shadow. I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara and be back to show you what's going on my face. So for eyeliner and mascara, I use the Physicians Formula Eye Booster as well as the Benefit Roller Lash and the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So for contour blush and highlight, I will be using all three products from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette. To contour, I will be using the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer and my Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush. And I'm just going to apply this in the hollows of my cheeks, blending back and forth. Doing the same on the other side. Then I'm just taking the Real Techniques Blush Brush to help blend that out. For blush, I will be using the Balm's Hot Mama and my Sigma F15 Duo Fiber Blush Brush. And I'm just going to sweep this onto my cheekbones, doing the same on the other side. Again, blending with the Real Techniques blush brush. For highlight, I'm going to take the Balm Mary Luminizer and my Real Techniques setting brush. And I am just going to apply this to the top of my cheekbone and doing the same on the other side. And again, I'm going to lightly dust over that with my Real Techniques blush brush. So now for the lips, I actually have three different nude lip options that I wanted to share with you because I loved all three of them. But if you are wanting to strictly use this palette, then you can definitely use the Caramel Cream cheek and lip color. So my first nude lip option is a combo. This is the one that I featured in my palette of the month video. So first I will line and fill in my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Aquarius and then I will go over top with the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in Sandy.
And this is what the first nude lip option looks like. My second nude lip option is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Echo Park. And here's what ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park looks like on my lips. My third lip option is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bedtime Flirt. And this is what the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Bedtime Flirt looks like on my lips. So guys, that was my rose gold and olive tutorial from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette. So this is the second makeup look. As you can tell, this is a lot more dramatic and sultry. This is my burgundy eye. As you can see, I have done a bit of a monochromatic look, and I decided to do a reverse smoky eye with the darkest shade at the lash line fading to the lightest shade at the brow bone. So if you guys want to see how to get this sultry burgundy eye, then just keep watching. So first we're going to start by priming the eye. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And you are just going to apply that from lash line to brow bone. For my transition color, I'm going to be taking the Instain Blush in Argyle from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette with my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to be applying that in my crease back and forth windshield wiper motions to create a nice transition shade. Next, I'm going in with a base for my lid. I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk, and I will be applying it with my Mary Kay Cream Color Brush. And I am going to be applying this right onto the lid and going up to the crease, but not into the crease. Next, for my lid color, I'm going to be taking Sexy from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand palette and applying it with the Wet n Wild Small Shadow Brush. And I'm going to be packing this color on the lid right over top of that cream base. Then I'm gonna take my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Brush and just go along the edges to help blend that out because right now it is looking pretty harsh. Next, I'm going to be applying the Balm's Cabana Boy Blush in my crease with my Sigma E25 Blending Brush. So I am just applying this in the outer corner and into the crease. Then I'm gonna take that Beauty Junkies brush again and help blend out that crease shade. Then I picked up a little bit more of Argyle on that Sigma brush to run in my transition area again to help this look blend even more. Then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Single in Brulee and my Sigma E45 Small Taper Blending Brush and apply this under my brow bone to highlight. And I am applying this underneath of the entire brow. So that is all for the shadow. I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara and be right back to show you what's going on my face. So for liner and mascara, I'm using the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Benefit Roller Lash and Urban Decay Perversion Mascaras. Moving on to the face. To contour, I'm going to be using the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer with my Sigma FO5 Small Contour Brush. And of course, just applying this into the hollows of the cheek and blending back towards the hairline. And doing the same on the other side. For blush, I'm going to be using the Balm's Cabana Boy with my Sigma F15 Dual Fiber Blush Brush. And just applying this on the back of my cheeks and blending towards the apple. And doing the same on the other side. I really love that we have the same color in the crease and on the cheeks. I feel like it really helps tie in the look. To highlight, I'm going to take the Balm Mary Luminizer with my Real Technique Setting Brush. And I am just applying this to the top of my cheekbone. Doing the same on the other side. Then I'm going to blend out all of those cheek products with the Real Techniques Blush Brush. So for the lips, I want to keep it really simple because the eyes are so dramatic. I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu, which is a more brown tone nude. So that gloss just adds a perfect amount of color and shine. It is a really pretty pinky brown that isn't 
too deep I definitely find it wearable for my skin tone and this is the finished look I would love to know what looks you all have created if you own this palette and I would love to know what are your favorite products from the balm thank you all so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye guys